The first case is the thermal actuator. The actuator consists of the copper foil, there is the cold arm and the hot arm. Those are connected to the contacting plates. This is the ground plate and this is the plate where the voltage is applied. And when the voltage is applied the current flows in this copper foil. And as you see the cross section of the arms are different so the hot arm becomes hotter than the cold arm. And the actuator bends up in the direction of the cold arm. Now to simulate this device we will need to run three analysis. First we would like to calculate the electric current distribution and this is the DC conduction model of quick field. Then we would like to calculate the temperature distribution and this could be done with the thermal model of quick field. And the last we would like to calculate the displacement. And displacement could be calculated in the stress analysis module of quick field. Now let's start quick field and run the simulation. So this is quick field. I will create the problem from the very beginning. First I will start with the electric problem. So I call the problem the electric and the destination folder where the problem files will be stored are here. Next I should specify the problem type. This is the DC conduction the electric current distribution in the conduction media. It is convenient to choose the length units to be microns and the plate thickness is one micron. Here you can see the geometry model editor window. Here you should draw the geometry model. In fact, you can also import the geometry model from Dixia file. And I already have the Dixia file, so I will follow to the file import Dixia. This is the geometry drawing in AutoCAD interchange format. Now the geometry model is imported. Now in quick field here I should assign labels to geometric objects. Essentially this is the copper, the copper foil. So I select the object, follow to the properties and type in the name. Now there are two conducting plates. This is the ground, the grounded conducting plate. So again I select the object, open the properties and type in the label. And this is the conducting plate where the voltage is applied. Now that's all 
that I need to run the DC conduction analysis. I should build the finite element mesh. Just press this button. And I should specify physical properties for each object. For the copper, I specify the electrical conductivity of the copper. For the grounded conducting plate, I specify zero electric potential. And for the another conducting plate, I specify the electric potential of 0.1 volts. Now let's save all problem files and run the analysis. Here you can see the electric current density distribution. Indeed, you can see that in the hot arm the current density is much higher in the than in the cold arm. Now, indeed, the not only the current density is different, but also the power loss is different. You see, the power loss here is much higher than the power loss in the cold arm. Now the next step is to calculate the temperature distribution. You may see that the power loss distribution is not uniform, especially here in this region. So to calculate the problem I would the thermal problem I would like to pass the results from DC conduction analysis to thermal analysis.